Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. First off, we would like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Do you think you might have a narcissist in your life? Relationships involving a narcissist can be difficult. This is because narcissists want to feel superior to everyone. They don't care about the well-being of others as long as they benefit from them. So it comes as no surprise that narcissists attract empaths and vice versa. They have a superficial and alluring charm that feeds the empath everything they wanna hear and feel without necessarily meaning what they say. This can lead to an extremely toxic relationship as narcissists have a tendency to believe that other people owe them more than they're willing to give. Before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis for narcissism, narcissistic traits, or narcissistic personality disorder. This video is also not designed to depict narcissists as bad people, but rather to give an insight into their thoughts and behaviors. With that said, here are 10 things that narcissists think you owe them. Number one, they think you owe them your time. Do you have time or space to yourself? Oftentimes a narcissist will feel that your time belongs to them, regardless of any plans you have with other people. They may feel like you aren't treating them as a priority when you don't or refuse to drop your plans for them. And this doesn't go both ways as they won't give all of their time in return. Number two, they think you owe them your kindness. Kindness is a one-way street for narcissists. They may have a tendency to manipulate or take advantage of your good nature and expect you to always be kind and understanding to them, no matter how hurtful they may be to you. Number three, they think you owe them your attention. Do they seem to expect attention to be given to them all the time, no matter how busy you are? A lack of attention in their direction may cause them to question your priorities and loyalty to them. And again, they won't care if they reciprocated or not. Number four, they think you owe them your companionship. Do they often demand that you accompany them? Narcissists have a tendency to isolate you from your family and friends. Even if you're not physically together, they may still expect you to message and call them throughout the day to maintain your attention. Since they want you to believe that they are the most important person in your life, they'll consistently try to push themselves onto you. Number five, they think that you are responsible for everything, including their own wrongdoings. Compared to other people, narcissists appear to have a very large sense of entitlement. Not only do they expect you to take responsibility for their own actions and well-being, but they'll also blame you for all the bad things that are happening to them. And if you don't take accountability for their own wrongdoings, they'll think you don't care about them and that you're not acting in their best interest. Number six, they think you owe them your guilt. Narcissists enjoy playing the victim and want people to feel sorry for them. Whether you've done something wrong or not, they'll try to purposely make you feel bad about yourself. And this repetitive cycle of blaming and guilt can lead you to having a lowered sense of self-worth and ultimately it can become the perfect gateway for them to manipulate you to do things they want you to do. Number seven, they think you owe them your ear to listen to them. Narcissists tend to think only about themselves and so will expect you to always be there for them whenever they need to vent or talk about their frustrations. They may make you feel as though it's your duty to listen to their complaints all the time and it's unlikely that they'll listen to your problems or troubles in return. But on the off chance that they do, it may be because there's some kind of incentive in it for them. Number eight, they'll make you think you're indebted to them. Did they seem like the nicest person on earth when you first met them? It's hard to tell whether someone is a narcissist or not because they often act really nice and kind at the beginning. However, after some time, they may start to make you believe that they're the only person who has and will ever be good to you, that no one else will ever treat you as well. For this reason, you may end up staying in a relationship with them, even if they seem to be doing more harm than good to you. Number nine, they think you owe them your freedom. Are they the ones who decide what you wear, where you go, or what you do? Controlling behavior is associated with narcissism. This may mean that they will try to make decisions for you instead of respecting your wishes. This can have a number of negative effects on you, including hurting your sense of self-esteem and making you question yourself. Essentially, they want you to be completely dependent on them to the point that you need to stay with them to survive. And number 10, they think they own you. As a result of all the previous points, this is the end game and the harsh truth. 
The narcissist wants to feel like they own you and that they can do whatever they want with you. Their tactics to manipulate and to guilt you into doing things that they want you to do ultimately make it hard for you to break free from them. Do any of these points sound familiar to you? Well, we hope this video has helped you understand a little bit more about relationships with narcissists. However, if you wanna learn more about narcissism, you can check out our other videos, such as the one on narcissistic personality disorder. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.